Hello and welcome to this edition of Ask Dr. Robin. I'm Dr. Robin Silverman, Child and Teen Development Specialist and the creator of the Powerful Words Character System. Today's letter is from William in Mobile, Alabama, who writes, Dear Dr. Robin, there are so many lessons we need to teach our kids about being a person of character. I know you stress kindness and respect and courtesy, and I like that too. What would you say are your, some of your top lessons you'd want us to teach our young kids at home about being a polite person if we were to start somewhere? Well, thank you, William. That's a really interesting question. There are many lessons that we teach our kids about being kind and respectful and courteous. Since you asked specifically about teaching kids to be polite people, I'll focus there today. And let me start with a caveat that kids may not even know that it's rude or off-putting to speak loudly in the grocery store about others or interrupt or pick their nose in public. They are still learning and this all takes patience and time. So number one, say please, thank you, and you're welcome. These words are simple, and as my grandmother used to say, they don't cost you anything. Number two, apologize when you hurt somebody, somebody's feelings. This shows empathy and encourages our children to show kindness and know that people are worthy of kindness. Number three, say excuse me when you need to interrupt. While you should wait for your turn to speak, if you must interrupt, say excuse me to show respect. Number four, greet others in kind ways. When someone walks through the door of your home or you see a friend at the store, say hello and ask how they're doing. Number five, knock before entering. Privacy is valuable to people. Knock and ask if you could come in. Six, don't use foul language, potty words, or mean names. This type of language can make people feel irritated or hurt. Number seven, if you don't like a gift or a meal, say thank you anyway. When someone gives you something, even if you don't really like it, it's important to be gracious. Number eight, look for ways to be helpful. Open doors for people behind you, help your parent hold the library books, assist a friend who fell down and hurt him or herself. Number nine, Cough and sneeze into your elbow. You don't want others to get sick. And number 10, use table manners. Refrain from reaching across the table. Use utensils as needed. Manners help others to feel more comfortable. That's all for this edition of Ask Dr. Robin. Please continue to send in your questions and it may be featured next time. In the meantime, I hope you make it a very powerful month. Thank you, everyone.